we have made it to New Delhi, India and we are super excited. Yeah, so we arrived in the hotel and it just wasn't what we expected. What on earth has happened? I don't know. Hey, I'm Kieran and this is my better half Maddie. We both decided to leave the UK at the start of 2023 to follow our dreams and go travelling full time. This is our Nepal series. Today is the day where we leave Nepal after spending the last one month exploring this beautiful country. A highlight for us was definitely the Annapurna circuit, meeting some lovely people and eating some delicious food. Today we will be heading to a new destination which is India and first stop is New Delhi. We have made it through the check-in and security and the longest part of it was probably me finding my Indian visa actually. It went pretty smooth so we're relaxing now, we've just gone and got some food. What did we get Maddie? We got two vegetable chow mains, Snickers which is already melted. And then I got some new crisps to try before we leave Nepal. So in total, I think we paid... Oh yeah, so we paid 900, which is about maybe $6. Yeah, which is not too bad considering it's an airport. I mean, the chow mains are 300 and um, 300, you can sometimes pay outside in, in, in Kathmandu for a chow mein, so that's pretty good actually. I'm quite surprised with how quiet the airport is here and how small it is considering how many tourists they get here in Nepal and the fact that they're the only international airport in the whole of Nepal, it seems really small. But Maddie has just told me that the airline we're flying with, Nepalese Airlines, aren't a band from flying in Europe. So maybe that has something to do with why the airport's so small. Okay, we are finally boarding. It's a little bit delayed. We were due to depart five minutes ago that we're boarding and hopefully we'll be underway shortly. The anxiety is kicking in now because as you might know I hate flying but I've done pretty well so far. What's on the menu chef? So lunch number two has been served and we got vegetarian rice with some curry, some green curry some spaghetti and milk, <laughs> cupcake, cola for me and pineapple juice for you. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that green curry is palak. Uh, correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but I remember having palak curry which was green. Uh, but it looks good, and he's going to try it first. <laughs> it's okay. Mitocha. Definitely don't get this one right in there, do you, Kieran? For a one-hour flight, you get a whole meal, you get a entertainment, you get loads of movies. It's really good. But similar to Ryanair, set off late. Yeah, that's true. Let's give this milky spaghetti a try. Is this dessert? It smells of nothing. We have made it to New Delhi, India and we are super excited. Yeah, it's our second time in Delhi airport as we were transferring here on the way to Kathmandu. But this time round we have a year visa, so many places to visit and we're excited for the chaos to begin. The airport essentials are done so we've got our currency, it's really nice actually. First impressions of the locals currency is very good and also our sim card and it was super cheap it only cost us about three pounds something so got all that sorted we just got to wait 30 minutes for the sim to activate and then we can head out and get the metro to where we're staying these train journeys are well over heights first train walk straight on and we've got a seat nice and easy but we got we got a stop in new delhi and then catch another metro to our hotel which i think could be a bit more crazy we have just got off at our last stop. Kieran's just trying to activate the sim um, so we can find our way to the hotel. And let me tell you, it's starting to look more like Delhi we expected. It's super busy, very loud, crazy.
first impressions is there is food absolutely everywhere that puts a big smile on my face and absolutely everything is available. So we're just heading to the hotel now, but I can't wait to get out and try some of this food. So we have made it to our place in Delhi after a couple of metros and about a 15 minute walk. But we've got here now. The room is okay. It's not the best room we've ever stayed in. Um, but we're looking forward to get out and trying all the del delicious food for dinner. Yeah, and also, just as I got here, somebody sent me a message saying that the area we're staying is actually not very safe. Um, before I came, I did a research, and maybe a little while ago, this was a very famous Africa place, so that's why we chose to stay here. But apparently there has been a lot of crime, not very safe for females, so... Yeah, we have requested to see if we can cancel and only stay here tonight and then move maybe to New Delhi instead of the Old Delhi. Things have not gone to plan so far. As you can see, we got our backpacks back on. We checked out of our hotel. Tell them why, Kieran. Yeah, so we arrived in the hotel. It just wasn't what we expected. Um, so anyway, cut a long story short, we asked them to cancel our booking we looked at a place that we wanted to move to, thinking we would get our money back. It was literally just after six o'clock. We'd been there for like half an hour. And well, they did say that they were going to give us money back and they kind of tricked us into believing. Oh, we go uh, Yeah, they tricked us into believing that they, you know, if we stay one night, we pay for the one night. Um, but yeah, then they wanted us to pay the cancellation fee plus one night fee and it just ended up being an absolute disaster. So we have found a new place, hopefully better. So yeah, we're on the way and hopefully we can get a room there. We have checked into our new hotel and it's a lot nicer. So I'm so glad about that. Although we've lost out on some money, um, I'm just glad to be in a nicer hotel and there's actually tourists around and it just feels, it feels better. But it's almost nine o'clock. We are on our way to, I think it's called Chandri Chowk which is one of the famous street food places in Delhi. And I absolutely love food. And Indian food has always been something I want to try. And we're in Delhi, so I'm so excited to get there and see what they have. Crazy story. We tried to go to the street food place. I can't remember the name of the place that we tried to go, but we, we went to the wrong place completely. So we didn't fancy walking back because it was really hectic. So we got into this rickshaw and we were happy, like the driver said it's 150 and we were happy to pay that. And then this local guy stopped and he was like, how much are you paying? And we said, oh, 100, 150. And like, he was like, no, absolutely not. So he basically made us get out of that rickshaw and he found us, and found us another rickshaw and he said, you're not, you're not paying more than 50. And yeah, that was just crazy. Like, it was so nice. And then whilst Maddie's been upstairs, um, go on, my little sword. Whilst Maddie's been upstairs, I was just paying the guy, and I ran inside to get him some more change, and I gave him the fifty, and then some more, and he wouldn't take it. Oh really? Yeah, he wouldn't take it. So. Ah, oh, that's nice because I yeah. said to Kira maybe we should pay more because actually it was a bill for journey. Yeah. Um, but, but I yeah. Think the guy must have said to him, look, only pay 50 and he, and he wouldn't take it. So very nice guy as well. Hello. Yeah, namaste. Yeah, I mean, the local guy was really like, he was like, no, 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 you're not getting, you're not paying more than 50. And like, it was really surprised because he got out of his mo out of his, uh, of his scooter to basically, you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, he got out of his scooter to basically say, like stop all of these rickshaws and be like, this is what you pay it. So we eat here, Karen. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Vegetarian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegetarian. Thank you. Right, what do you have, Maddie? Okay, I've got China masala. I think, is this China means chickpeas? Yeah, it's a chickpea. Yeah, chickpea. Chickpea masala basically and food butter naan. Yeah, butter roti. Butter roti. And it's so cheap, you can see here on the menu butter roti, seven rupees. 
and then the chana masala which is here is 50 rupees which is like so cheap i have also gone for two butter rotis and the guy recommended what was this one called again uh do, do, do. the shahir paneer 60 rupees he said it's the best one on the menu so this is what we have nice very nice. We have made it back to our hotel after our first evening here in Delhi and it was a really nice experience. We enjoyed some delicious food and also met a really interesting guy who was basically like a free tour guide for us and recommended a lot of things to do whilst in India. So I think first day um, it's made me even more excited about spending the time here in India. So for any of you locals out there if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comments. But that's it for this vlog. Three, two, one. Namaste, Namaste for now. now.